Wandering Winder here on a board with no village. So, I mean, I think we're going to want to open Bounty Hunter City Gate, pick up a monument, probably a second monument, and just go from there. Is that going to be better than going for Guildhall and Bandit? That's the question. It's one or the other of those, but the City Gate should probably be in either case pretty good. Uh, so is Bandit going to be... I mean, I think I believe in Monument, but I don't know. Probably also Guildhall is fine. Uh, if we're doing thinning... I mean, what we could eventually try to get to is like a golden deck. Gold, gold, monument, bounty hunter, and um, if we go for that, gold, gold, monument, bounty hunter, province, then we would want to not get city gate, because that kind of precludes. But I don't think we're actually going to get that thin. Citygate is really important in these kinds of decks because, okay, I gotta think here. Uh, I can have, if I put the estate down, I'm gonna have five money next turn again. So I could get Guildhall Bandit here. Gosh, that seems too good not to get. Okay, let's take the guild hall, I guess. I don't know that it matters too much which order we go in. This just seems too good to me. If we stick a copper back. And now the question is... What do we exile here? And I think the answer's gotta be this. That's a pretty good pair of things for me to hit. Probably take a second bandit. Could also try to take a monument. I think I like going one and one actually. I think one bandit should be enough, and I'm going to want the points. I'm not sure about that at all. I do like my position generally, though, here. Let's snipe another one of these. Again, not a bad couple of things to hit. You're getting a lot of thinning, um, but somehow I don't believe in what you're doing good couple of things to have hit on my end. Let's stick the silver back. Just start buying provinces. Yeah. I should be very winning here. I'm about to have three provinces. You're a little thinner than me, but, like, it's not going to matter that much. Stick the estate back again. Have all the bad stuff miss the shuffle. Hit a gold. That's obviously pretty nice. Uh, the bounty hunter's also going to miss the shuffle, but that's fine. I have four tokens, so, like, I am also going to be able to continue provincing reasonably well. Sure. And, yeah, I mean, if the game goes super long, you can score an extra one point every turn off Monument, but with no village, it's a point every turn in, like, a duchy, and it's just not going to not gonna cut it. Okay, we'll do this. Don't want to discard that from Exile, don't think. 
Um, yeah, my opponent probably will end up with more monument points than me, although I'm going to have extra estates. Uh, but the, like, it's not going to matter because I'm provinces up. Okay, stick the copper down. And yeah, it's locked up here. Um, just like Guildhall Bandit, you can green quite early. I think it's right to do at least some Bandit stuff with Guildhall rather than go for some kind of Monument Golden deck. Uh, just because um, like, it's fine to... like You could just power through getting so many provinces so fast it was going to take too long to thin down to be Golden. Um, I feel like I drew pretty darn well, uh, but this was, what, six provinces in 13 turns? That's pretty impressive. And particularly on a board without a village, and the thinning here is fine, but it's not like donate font great or something, so pretty happy with this. Yeah, uh, pretty straightforward game there. Thanks for watching.